This video is going to go over how to enter a driver into LoadTrack. The first thing that you are going to want to do is open the web version of LoadTrack. You're going to click on the setup widget. That's going to open up a new page. Then what you're going to want to do is click on the driver. This is going to enter or open up all the drivers and then the groups. So here we have all the drivers that are currently entered into the system. Next, you are going to want to hit new driver, which is down here at the bottom. All the fields that are entered red must be filled in to um, move on with saving the driver in the system. If your company does not have a driver number um, sequence, you can just click next ID and it will populate the next ID following in that sequence. If you guys have certain type of um, driver number groups, then you will need to run a report to find out what number was used last. Then we are going to enter the driver's name. Passcode is either the last four of the driver's social security number or their license number. And then for HOS profile, um, you either want to select U.S. Federal um, short haul um, we have CDS in the system just for um, that contract that we have. So you just want to select what works best for that driver to be um, compliant for the DOT purposes. Home terminal is not required, but more information that you have, the better. Um, if you have drivers that are all over the country, this is very helpful. It will um, set that driver's um, time for that time zone that they're in. So I'm just going to put the location that that driver works out of. I don't typically put anything in the I button serial number. Um, status, you always want to have it as active when you're first creating it. If a driver um, is out on leave for a long time period, you can do inactive. Or once they resign or are terminated, you can switch them to terminated. Qualifications. Um, as much information you can have here, the better. So I'm going to do a class A driver. They can drive all these types of trailers and then they can also use a lift gate so again the more qualifications that you do know about that driver that they can use um, the better you can use you can sort that in the client version of load trek um, then we're going to use the address And then the phone number. And then if it's the same, their um, cell phone is their home number, you can just copy it for both. I would rather have it in there twice than not at all. And then if they do have an email, you can enter that as well. If your HR department, safe department, or whatever needs to send an email out, um, they can run a report to get all the emails for the driver. So again, the more information you have, the better. Um, you want to make sure you enter the social security number. And then their CDL number is required. So that's just their driver license number. And then tablet profile, um, I always just select default. If you have any specific um, profiles, you can select that. And then whatever groups this driver is a part of. So I'm just going to do the Waterloo Madison group. Um, for the dates, whatever start date the driver um, started on, some companies go by the day that they started their orientation and some go by um, when they actually started driving in the truck. Physical date and badge issue date. So this is the date that we enter is the date that it's going to expire on. So if their physical date is going to expire um, 7.30 of 2022 and their badge lasts for 10 years, we'll do um, and then that driver's birth date. It's very nice to have this information entered because if their badge or um, they need to 
renew their physical, you can run a report on it. And also in the client version of Low Trek, there will be an EP next to a driver's name if it has not been updated or if it's expiring. Then you only will have the termination field once you change the driver status to terminated. And then the custom date. These are just extra fields if you need them for um, other information like when their hazmat's expiring, um, anything like that. So if you do need the custom date changed, just contact Low Trek Support and they can change that for you. And then in the comments, any helpful information that is useful for the planners, ECC or your dispatch, anything like that. So... So now that we have everything entered here, we have our red fields um, are now white. You can go ahead and click save. It will spin up here. And then once your driver is saved, it will pop up. So that is how you add a new driver to load track.